Chrysalis truly marks a new dawn for IOTA. This major upgrade forms a foundation for upcoming features like smart contracts, tokenization, and other new exciting innovations. This network change also means that everyone will need to migrate their tokens from the current network to the new one. Here's how it works. The migration process to Chrysalis consists of two phases. Before Chrysalis launch, funds migrated during the week before Chrysalis launch will be available on the new network straight away after it launches. After Chrysalis launch, a continuous migration will allow users to transfer their funds to the new network after Chrysalis launch. So, what's the difference? For most of us, there is no practical difference between these two options, and it's up to you to choose when to migrate. Exchanges should migrate ahead of the network launch to avoid any interruptions to their service. But don't worry, token holders will continue to be able to migrate their tokens at least until Coor decide. So, let's run over how this works. The process is simple. Whether before or after Chrysalis, Firefly will handle everything. You enter your seed in Firefly. Firefly displays your balance. Make sure it is correct before you proceed with sending your funds to the new network. Then continue to follow the simple steps to set up your new wallet with a password and a PIN code. Finally, check your balance and confirm. Firefly sends your funds to a predetermined migration address on the new network. Simple, right? It only takes a few minutes. But you can relax. You don't have to do this right away. Users can freely migrate funds from the old network at any time until Coordicide. But bear in mind, after Chrysalis, normal token transfers will no longer be possible on the old network, only migrations. So that's it. Exciting times are ahead. Check the latest migration countdown and stay up to date with changes by visiting chrysalis.iota.org.